Hi, everybody. I'm Todd McKim along with Lindsay Gottlieb, and welcome to the final edition of the Women's Basketball Report for the season. But we've got a lot of great things to talk about because as we speak, the selection committee has just uh, announced that uh, you are going to be the number two seed in the Spokane region. The number one seed is Stanford, and your first round opponent will be the 15th seed in the region, Fresno State, but you have to go all the way to Lubbock, Texas to play them. Yeah, um, I, I, why did I know you were going to say Stanford first? That, that was going to come up quickly. I think that's the, the hot story. Um, but we're just really excited to be a two seed. We're excited to be in the Spokane Regional. Um, and, and then, uh, you know, Lubbock was one of the places that I expected that we could be in the first and second round. So um, we'll get ready to play a hot Fresno State team that just won the, the Mountain West tournament. Um, and then when we move on, you know, from there, we'll worry about the next opponent. Just talk about the excitement because this is obviously – the highest seed that Cal has ever gotten. You guys knew you were in the tournament, so that, that was out of the question. The question was where you were gonna go and what the seed was going to be. And when they announced early, because that, <laughs> that bracket was the first one announced, I mean, the place just erupted. Well, I can tell you, I mean, I barely slept last night, and it was sort of the nervous excitement, butterflies, kind of like Christmas morning feeling. So it, it doesn't get old, and it doesn't change even if you know you're in. Um, it's really fun, I think, to take a moment and appreciate, you know, who our players are and that the community loves them and they're great to be around and also what we've done. Um, so I think it's a celebration of, of that, but also um, a time to start our third season. And this is a team that's very humble and very hungry and knows, you know, that there's a lot more basketball in front of us, and we want to take advantage of this opportunity. What has it been like this last week where you didn't have a game and you had to just work on what you do? What's it been like for the team and the coaching staff this past week? You know, when the schedule first came out and we kind of saw that there would be this this week in between, I didn't really know how that would feel. But I think we needed the rest emotionally and physically. You know, we know we didn't play well in our last game out against UCLA, so we kind of got that behind us early. We watched a little film. We said, hey, you know, the only option is to is to – get back to work here. And so we, we've taken some days off, but we've also just focused on ourselves. I mean, what else can you do? There's no film to watch. We don't know our opponent. We didn't know his own man, anything. So it, it's been really good to just get back to who we are, the way we want to play, you know, rest, but also um, fine tune some of our skills. So I think the players have really taken advantage of this week. You mentioned the Fresno State, your first opponent, Kiki Moore, local player, Sacred Heart Cathedral, uh, battled injuries throughout her career. They have five Australians on their team as well before, you know, you've had a chance really to look at a whole lot of tape. But what do you know about Fresno State other than they won the conference tournament? Yeah, I mean, we know Kiki and she's terrific. Great point guard. Um, you know, she, she actually, you know, kind of flirts with triple doubles often because she gets a lot of rebounds and um, just does a lot of things for them. Uh, and, you know, they have a new coach this year. Um, they used to run the dribble drive. So there, there's a lot of kids who can shoot the ball. I mean, I, I as I remember, they have post players that step out and shoot. Um, uh, obviously very talented. They beat a good San Diego State team in the Mountain West final. So we're going to be prepared. We'll have to be ready. Um, you know, there's no tomorrows in the NCAA tournament, so all of our focus will be on Fresno State, and we'll start thinking about someone else, you know, when the, when the clock ends and, and we win that game. So um, obviously we have to be, be ready for Fresno State. Well, of course, you know, as you mentioned right off the top, everybody's saying, well, you're in the same bracket as Stanford. Stanford's the number one seed, which – you're the number two, which means the committee thought you were the fifth best team in the NCAA tournament, I guess, if Stanford was the fourth seed, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a combination of, you know, where we are on the S-curve, meaning what they think of us, and also some geographic um, considerations. Um, look, Stanford is a deserving one. Uh, they're really good. They've had a terrific year. And, you know, if we get the chance to face them in the Elite Eight, that means one of us going to the Final Four. So we'll be happy with that. We have to take care of business. Um, you know, many times before we get to that point. I know they feel the same way, but if it ends up, you know, where we're playing them, that means we're in a pretty good spot. Well, it's been a terrific season so far. 28 wins, a school record, a chance to add to that resume as well. Congratulations uh, and good luck in the tournament. Thank you so much. We're excited. I bet you are. Everybody in the, the building was excited today as the Bears were announced as the number two seed in the Spokane region. They will play in Lubbock Saturday afternoon. And as Lindsay mentioned, inside, there are flights from here to there on Southwest Airlines. So if you get a chance, get there.